hi students here is the shortcut or the trick or the tip to learn the reactivity series of metals and the anions so the metals or the cations you can learn please stop calling me a crazy zebra instead try learning how copper saves gold and platinum so the p is for potassium s for sodium c for calcium m for magnesium a for aluminium c for carbon z for zinc i for iron t for tin l for lead h for hydrogen c for copper s for silver g for gold and p for platinum so you have two c here for the crazy and for the copper but already copper is written there so the crazy is for the carbon and any metals below the carbon can be reduced using carbon and the below hydrogen can be reduced using hydrogen and down this the tendency to discharge ions increases if you take like calcium and hydrogen in the electrolysis process the hydrogen will be displaced through the cathode so the thing is that which is down in this reactivity series will be discharged through the electrodes and next you have the anions so for this you will learn the shortcuts fools shall never clear brain iq and oh so f for fluorine s for sulfate ion n for nitrate ion c for chlorine ion b for bromine ion then iq i for iodine ion and oh like that itself so fools shall never clear brain iq fools shall never clear brain iq so you have the anions also the shortcut to learn anions so when it comes to the electrolysis process the one in this the down in this anions will be discharged through the electrode because if you know if you have hydroxide ion and chloride ion hydroxide will be displaced as oxygen so you should know this also so now when you look at the order of reactivity the upper one in the reactivity series are highly reactive they'll react with dilute acid to produce hydrogen gas but the lower one in the reactivity does not react with dilute acid now the reaction with air or oxygen the potassium sodium and lithium will burn very brightly and vigorously with oxygen but down the group it will decrease and then reaction with water the sodium and potassium even react with cold water producing hydrogen gas and the calcium aluminum zinc etc they'll react with steam but the reaction is less vigorous and also they react with hot water and when you go down the group they won't react with water or steam and the easiness of extraction it's difficult to extract sodium or potassium because you know it's very highly reactive and when you take the other one in the middle of the reactivity series it is easier to extract and the one below the carbon is extracted using carbon as reducing agent you have learned the extraction process of zinc using carbon as the reducing agent and for iron also you are using carbon so these are reduced using carbon and the lower one like gold and platinum are found as in the elemental state so this all are about the reactivity series and next i'll be uploading my video soon on the electrolysis process the electrolysis of molten electrolyte and aqueous electrolyte and i have shortcut for you for this also so keep watching and thank you subscribe my channel and share among your friends